We find ourselves now and to tell us a story about the Rebbe's father. government uh, building. Oh, very nice. And why is it that you don't have a, a, a visit pass? A, a visit pass? I, I, I need a visit pass to visit my daughter? You need a visit pass. Oh, boy. Maybe you could just call her down. Call who down? My daughter. Who's your daughter? Uh, Barachovich. Barachovich. Barachovich working in this building. Let me check. One second. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hello, hi! Yeah, listen, uh, there's somebody here for you wanting to talk to you. She says she's your mother. Oh, is she, um, is she wearing, um, um, a pink uh, dress? Yes, she is. How do you know? Oh, because whenever she comes to me, she's annoying. She's always wearing that dress. Oh, so it's your mother? I think so. Okay, fine. You can go upstairs. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, here we go upstairs. Oh boy, these steps are very, very hard to get up. Oh, I made it. <laughs> Hello, sis guy, how you doing? What are you doing, Donnie? You gotta calm down. You can't say this guy here. Well, I can't say this guy here. Why not? Because this is the Russian government building I'm working in, and they can't know that you, like, are Jewish. Well, they know. Don't they don't know? No, it's a secret. Oh, okay, okay. I, I came because I heard the good news that you're getting married. Yeah, how do you know? I have very big ears and a very big mouth, and somehow I know everything. Well, listen, I need you to know that um, if you're going to get married, I want you to have a Jewish wedding. Are you crazy? Uh, me crazy? No, I'm not, I'm not crazy. Why would you think I'm crazy? No, you can't have a Jewish wedding. What do you mean you can't have a Jewish wedding? How do they get married? I don't know, but I can't have a Jewish wedding. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Why is it dangerous? Because the Russian government doesn't let you have a Jewish wedding. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Come on. We'll do it in secret. No, no, I'm not going to do it. But listen, I know this rabbi who lives in the city of, um, of, um, the Nepper, the Nepper Pepper, the Nepper Pepper Pepper Pepper, the Nepper Pepper Trotsk. What? The Nepper Pepper 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 I've never heard of such a city. No, it's a city. There's a rabbi here, and he's gonna do your wedding. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. Wait, you know, I'll do it, but only on one condition. What's the condition? The condition is that we have to do it in the rabbi's house, and no one could see us. Well, no one's gonna see you because you're gonna be covered with the thing on your face when you do a wedding. I know, but it has to be very, very dark. No candles. No candles, but you're supposed to go around with the candles. We're not having candles. Okay, fine, we won't have candles. Whatever you say. Just come to the, the Never Prep Trust. I'll give you the address, and you'll be there, yeah? Okay, fine, I'll be, I'll be there with my husband. Okay, very good. What? Okay, and she finally gets on a verse, and she's ready to go. Okay, this is very tight. My daughter's getting married. <sighs> and she arrives into the Pepatrovs. And she makes her way to the house of her lady Yitzhak, who's the rub of the city. And it's 11 o'clock at night. It's all dark outside. And she knocks on the door. <laughs> hey, who's there? Uh, I need a, a wedding, please. Oh, a what? You need a what? I, I need a wedding. What do you mean you need a wedding? Well, I, I'm, 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 it's a long story. Can't let me in. I can't find one second. What's going on? I need a wedding for my daughter, please. I would like to order one wedding to go and uh, to stay. One wedding to stay, please. Wait, to stay or to go or not to stay or to go? No, no, to stay. A wedding right here. A wedding right here in this house? Yeah, because we don't want anyone to see it. We want it to be in this house, in your house, please. If you don't mind. What? When, when is the wedding? 
I'll have to send out invitations. No invitations. We're having the wedding tonight in one hour. Just ten people, no more, because we just need a minion. Can't have more than ten people. And we have to make sure no one sees them. And it's very dark. And, then, and that's it. Okay, fine. You stay here. And sure enough, an hour later, there's another knock on the door. Oh, that must be my daughter. Okay, one sec. Hello. Why are you down like this? I'm trying to hide over here. Eh, wait, right back. Uh, uh, are you sure there isn't a million of Jews? Because there's a lot of Jews in this building. I have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. Oh boy, I think we're missing one. But I'll go get everyone else. And a half hour later, we have nine men, all ready for the wedding. But they need one more person for the minion. And that back, you know, I was thinking, uh, there's one more Jew in this building. Wait, why don't we go outside the building? Maybe we can find someone outside the building. No, but there's one more Jew in this building, and if you go outside the building, it's too dangerous. Wait, there's one more Jew in this building? Who's that? Well, you know the KGB informant that sits by the door? He works for the KGB. He's a very nice guy. I think we should get him. I think he's Jewish also. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good idea? I thought it was a stupid idea. No, no, it's a great idea. You should go and get him. Okay, fine. Then go knock on his door. What's going on? And we need you upstairs, the, the rabbi uh, wants you upstairs. Oh, the rabbi, okay, fine. The rabbi, <laughs> why would the rabbi be calling me? What's going on over here? Uh, well, we have, we need you just to be a 10th uh, person for the minion. We want to make a wedding over here. A wedding? A Jewish wedding? And you call me? You know I work for a kid? I don't know, but okay, fine. You know what? We close window shade him. What, what, what shade him? I'm scared of shade him. Not shade him, window shade him. Window shade in the sound scary. I told you not to sh It's the window shade over here. We close it so no one sees. Oh, don't shade them. Okay, very good. Close those. <laughs> and it's very dark. And the Hussar and Kala come out from the side room. And okay, one second. Let me get on the tablecloth. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, there was things on the table. Sorry. It was a little, little messy. Okay, everyone hold the chuppah up. Very good. I'm going to get a corner. There's some baba ganosh on this table. Okay, never mind. Just hold the tablecloth. <laughs> okay, and they very quickly, very, very quickly, they make the wedding and they sell the brats. And finally they finish and the Hussein and Kala are all scared. The Hussein is hiding his face. And uh, wait a minute, I thought the Kala was supposed to wear a shmata on her head, but why is the Hussein blocking his head? All right, he doesn't want anyone to see him. And they finish the wedding and everyone goes and leaves. But everyone's very scared because the KGB officer was right there. But right afterwards, he goes over to Rabbi Yitzhak and he says, You know what, Rabbi? This is my KGB card. It's a card which lets me be part of KGB. I decided I'm going to uh, uh, do a little trick. Watch. And he rips it up. And he says, Rabbi, don't worry about it. I see the amount of mysterious nefesh you have for Judaism and to make a Jewish wedding. I decided to rip up my KGB membership card and become more Jewish and uh, help the Jewish people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, good job, Boys.